how to install cyber panel on uh, CentOS 7 uh, VPS so without wasting time we need to secure a VPS with, where we have full control that is with root access and we're going to get it from our best VPS provider that is Truehost so Truehost has, has several sites there is a uh, uh, .com where you can buy in dollars and uh, um, other currencies there are other countries websites like this Kenya UK South Africa Nigeria UK um, other countries like Bangladesh uh, but for me I'll go to my account in the Kenyan website where I currently have an account um, and then I'll just go to cloud servers and a cloud servers I'll look for just a 1GB VPS and um, take note that uh, these VPSs they are available for an extended period of time especially when you are keen on discounts so I think uh, we are going to take um, an extended period of time like it can take 1 month 6, 12, 24 but if we take 36 um you i mean uh, that becomes a huge uh, you know a huge discount you know um so it seems like uh so uh, i'll tell us the host name, you know, the root password of my VPS, the name servers are set, and the operating system, which is very important. There are choice of more than 10 operating system. I'm looking at uh, CentOS 7.9, and that's fine. No additional IP, no. Then uh, I proceed. Once I proceed, I come and pay. Once I pay, the VPS will be available in my client area. I'll also get, uh, you know, our login credentials. So I think that is okay. Let's log into our client area and see if we can be able to manage our VPSs, our VPS and uh, uh, you know start installation. And also, if we get the passwords, that it's time to log in on SSH so that we can now install the cyber panel. Uh, as you can see, it's already deployed in CentOS. These are power button, it's on. Yeah, we can now uh, change host name, change password, change IP, configure SSH, SSH keys, VNC, control panel, install application, backup and restore backups, uh, monitor, uh, check the logs. Um, then we have uh, DNS, we've got uh, bandwidth, and uh, even the location. So I think. Uh, we are good so now I just want to access the SSH but I will not use the, this web web based SSH I'll connect using my terminal I use Tamias um, this is where I will access my VPS oh yeah it's just like it uh, now it's a process of installing um, our cyber panel so of course the first step we in installation you start by updating your operating system your centers you need to make sure that it's, their libraries are up to date so we will run this command yeah to just fetch the latest libraries
uninstall that and the next thing we do uh, we run a command to download the uh, the cyber panel installation script after which that command will be to make it executable then install it and then I mean installation is like a wizard there is confirmation of a few details during the installation but it's pretty straightforward so as soon as you know these four commands the first one for updating the centers then downloading the script then making the script executable and just installing your set that's like everything you need to know for installation of a cyber panel on our centers so this should be done so that now we can uh, download our installation files Okay, I don't know why it's taking some time. Remember the speed of installation depends with your VPS. Done, thank you. So let's just um, download the script. So we have got the script. So the next thing is just to make this script um, executable that's simple but just need to run the script make it executable then um, the form just to start uh, the installation just a switch install out of SH so the installation time we might get might take some time but there are some things we need to confirm here we want to install the latest and therefore that will get us uh, you know our answers in a few things here um, See, so it says it's just detected a sent to seven. That's good. It's checking the virtualization should detect as KVM. After that, I think it's um, to check the storage space, and as soon as uh, the storage space is okay, so yeah, it's yeah, we want to install. So it's the one next, then it asks you. Open light speed or enterprise or exit one. Uh, yes, this part in is uh, important. Remote, no, we don't need quite a remote. Uh, MySQL. So, yeah, we we'll use the local MySQL. Um, then which version we can just say press enter for the latest uh, then pass you know password however you do it i think it should just retain the, the default then a uh, memcache yes we need memcache ready it's, it's okay it's a good thing watchdog um I don't think we need a dog, uh, so we can just say no. Uh, yeah, the installation continues. Uh, this will take some time. So you can see it's installing some uh, libraries, a lot of Python, Pal, 
libraries. And since um, CyberPanel is based on Django, you see a lot of uh, Django library installation being installed. Um, yeah, so I think this will take some time, but uh, of course it's faster than uh, control panel. Control panel takes much longer time. But this takes, you know, just consider, maybe give it um, 10 minutes max. You should be having your installation. But it's not a quiet installation, so you'll be seeing what is happening. So even if it takes over 10 minutes, then you can see uh, these actions happening. So, yeah, now it's installing applications like MariaDB. Remember, a control panel is a collection of software as applications. So, why it takes long is because it has to install every single application. Um, that's why it takes long, you know. Yeah. So, this process will continue until it will uh, give you the admin login credentials for you to log in. After that, it will go further to, uh, you know, to get um, uh, to configure the one firewall. As soon as the firewall are configured, then you are ready to log in. So after that, we will just go to uh, the web, uh, put up our IP and uh, the, the web or put its web uh, uh, port, which is 890, and we will be able to access using our default credentials. Uh, that is username admin and password 1234567. All right, let's get there in a few. So after confirming that uh, the ports are working and the firewall is set open and the installation has completed, installation actually took almost 20 minutes, so you can be patient with that. So you can now access your cyber panel may require to install SSL later on, but here uh, yeah, the credentials are mean password is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and uh, login and you can see wonderful, we are in there you can see the cyber panel so just to give you a walkthrough it's a uh, resources as you are consuming there is users where you can add users there is website you can create your website from here dns databases backup ftp ssl emails status php wordpress you can deploy your wordpress from here you can uh, create your email addresses and configure details about your email from here uh, there's new features like Cloud Linux, there's Docker Manager, yeah, and much more. And I think uh, that's it with uh, Cloud Linux. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for, and I wish you the best in your installation and in your running of uh, Cyber Panel. Welcome back anytime. Uh, Truos will continue to provide the best resources for you. Thank you.